<clears throat> Melissa Forehead Ford is a 47-year-old former video vixen. Now, I've been a big fan of Melissa Ford since I was in junior high school. You know, because she has starred in a few of my favorite videos. Okay, uh, Big Pimpin' by Jay-Z. I don't trust the needle. The Thong Song by Cisco. That thong, 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 thong. And my favorite out of all three of them is Knock Yourself Out by Jada Kiss. Once I miss probation. Okay, so I've been a big fan of Melissa Ford. Of course, as time has passed, I don't know what she has been doing. Until now, she's a co-host at the Joe Buttons Podcast. Well, Miss Melissa Forehead Ford has gotten the internet in an uproar because she decided to put the pedal jacket on Mr. Purple Haze himself. What's he doing? Oh, what? that's right. Like, uh, them niggas clearly went to a whore yeah. and took somebody about me. Says them. And, that's who told and, the story. and, and, but that's and, just, but that's who told I the get that, I get that. So, of course it says them. Who else is, is there, the is, the, is there, is there a distinct possibility that there may have been underage girls in that whore? Oh, uh, hey, come yo, on, come yo, on yo, now. Yo, 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 that's crazy. I don't know what you're doing. That's nuts, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. What are you doing? Okay, I am. That that's nuts. Just, that no, I'm shit. sorry, but that's, that's nuts. Not bro, the fact that I can't believe she said that. I can't believe she said that. Let me break down what happened. So Cameron and Mace have their own sports show. They talk sports, and they might push some real-life stuff in there, okay? Similar to what I do over here. I react to videos, and then I might throw in a twist of some stories that I might have about my personal life. So one of these stories they were talking about, they went to a whorehouse, and they took one of the chicks home, and they ran a train on her. Now, I don't know how culturally you grew up, but I do know in New York, a train was a real thing. I have a few stories that I will not be telling on the internet, of me and my friends in high school uh, using our Metro cards, all right, so to speak. And, you know, it is what it is. Well, Miss Melissa Ford took it upon herself to say that, and that she is pretty sure that in that, that whorehouse there were underage girls. <laughs> she was basically insinuating that Killer and Mace may have been messing with an underage girl. As somebody who is on the internet, as somebody whose part-time job is to stand in front of camera, as somebody who does research on the internet before I say certain things on camera, as somebody who has reacted to many videos of women lying on men, I think that is crazy for Miss Melissa Forehead Ford to try to throw a pedal jacket on Cameron in 2023. I don't know if you weren't thinking or you purposely did it as bait because now you probably baiting somebody to say something. Were you baiting to see if a young lady would come forward or did you do it for clicks? Like, I don't know. Do you have some personal beef with this man that you just decided to try to throw some dirt on his name? I can't believe you would do that, Miss Melissa Forehead Ford. It, it's amazing to me that you would do that in 2023. In 2023, with everything that's going on, you got Diddy and Cassie, and now everybody's coming out trying to expose Diddy, but nobody was saying nothing before. I'm gonna keep that to myself because I have my own personal opinion on, on, on what's going on with Diddy and Cassie. Do you understand how dangerous insinuating something, something like that could be? We all know Cameron, we all know Mr. Purple Haze, we all know Mr. Suck It or Not. I'll give you a scenario that could possibly happen based on what you just did. Cameron, throughout his time, I'm pretty sure he has dealt with many young ladies. It could be a young lady right now that is very bitter, very bitter about how their dealings may have ended. So now you have opened the door for somebody to lie on this man. You have opened the door for somebody to come out the woodworks, and there's a lot of crazy people out here that would come up with a motion picture-worthy story to end somebody's career. And you have opened the door for that. But what Melissa Ford has done is a perfect example of how women can make 
baseless accusations and not get held accountable. They can make baseless accusations and not get held accountable. Now, in my research looking for clips to try to, you know, so I could put everything together for you guys, I came across a video where this guy was talking about he didn't like the way that Cameron was handling the situation. He felt as though Cameron should not have responded and be a bigger person. Ex excuse me? Excuse me? Are you serious? Somebody accuses you of being a pedophile falsely and you're supposed to respond by being a bigger person. Is this supposed to go back to normal? She can just throw that jacket on him and then, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I didn't mean to say that. And then things are just going to go back to normal. No, things are not going to go back to normal. Things can't. Now, I hope it goes back to normal. But like I said before, there are Fucking crazy people out there that would make something up. I personally feel as though, man, um, if she gonna do that, fellas, celebrities, man, y'all need to come out and, and start. If y'all have some Melissa Ford stories, y'all need to come out here and, and let, them, let them be known. Because Cam found something. Cam found out that uh, she fucked iced tea in the bathroom for $2,000. Now, I'm pretty sure there's more stories out there like that. Go ahead, man. Drop them. If men are going to be falsely accused of things, the accusers need to be held accountable. Melissa Ford should be made an example of. We should we should all really make an example of Melissa Ford. Because that's not cool. Like, why would you say that? On a side note, though, this situation also, I guess, created a rift between Cam and Queen's Flip. Now, I'm a Queen's Flip fan. I think Queen's Flip is hilarious. But... Flip, I'm not going to lie. I saw your video responding to Cameron, and you were wrong, bro. I'm going to be real with you. You were wrong. In a situation like that, it's not about typing something edgy for the fans. Nah, bro, you should have been straightforward. It shouldn't have been nothing about using the algorithm. Like, think about it, bro. A chick just accused your mans of being a pedophile. Like, she low-key hinted that your mans could be a pedophile. You know it's not true. The world knows it's not true. You really was trying to ride the algorithm, my nigga? That wasn't the right time to ride the algorithm. That was not the right time to ride the algorithm, bro. You were supposed to put her in her place. Like, dead ass. You out here trying to play word gymnastics, nigga? No. You supposed to put her in her place, bro. You was wrong, my nigga. I'm going to be real with you. You was wrong, son. So during our shows, sometime, me and Mace talk about old stories. I've known Mace since I was 11 years old, maybe younger than that, maybe 9 or 10 years old. So we talk about old stories. And I ain't going to be long-winded because I don't want to be up here all day. I just want to make sure everybody's super clear on why I'm doing this. During one of our shows, I was talking about how me and Mace in the 90s so I was talking about the actual year I was talking about was 1992. We was in the whorehouse. And we was laughing, having fun. And we were saying, we, you know, we, whatever, we was in the whorehouse. Mace, you know, Mace don't always give me permission to talk about our old stories because, you know, he's a man of God and he got other shit going on. But he remembers his past sometimes, so sometimes he's let me talk. Anyway, I'm talking about this time we in the whorehouse and all that shit. Talking about um, we slid a bitch, all this shit. Cool, whatever. I see a clip where on on Joe Button's podcast where Melissa Ford is talking about, oh, it might have been underage girls in there. First of all, I only like older bitches. Second of all, it was 1992. We was underage. That's A and B. I, we wasn't supposed to be in there. We wasn't 18. I just turned motherfucking 16. I ain't even defending myself on that nonsense. You're not even from this country. I don't know what the fuck was going on in the, in the whole houses in Canada or wherever you from or whatever pedophile shit they on, wherever you from. We not on that. I ain't even going into that. More of the story, she said it. Knowing the times we in, Joe Buttons and them went in on her or whatever. They're like, yo, that's some serious allegations. This and the third. But they didn't edit it out. So from two things I take from that, they either threw her under the bus or they said, fuck it, let's get the ratings or whatever they want to do. Either way it came out, it could have been edited out. It wasn't live like I'm doing live right now. 
So I ignored it because it was nonsense. So I ignored the shit. We said a little something on our show, but we don't get that. We don't give. See, they we don't give this type of energy I'm doing on live. That type of business on our show, my nigga. I said it's sports and our fun. So this energy don't go on our show. This cam energy on my own personal time. So we said a little something. I ain't even say nothing. I said, fuck the bitch. The bitch don't know what she's talking about, whatever. So uh, yesterday, whatever day, she issues an apology. I'm like, nah, don't apologize. Because I was going to address it when I felt like addressing it. But the reason I addressed it yesterday is because it's like, yo, you say that foul shit? Because that's some foul shit to say. Man felt like that shit, like... And the times we in for you to make them type of allegations, don't know what the fuck you talking about? You serious? Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. Stop playing with niggas, man. Anyway, she tried to apologize, and I said to myself, nah, because if I address it in a month or whenever I felt like addressing it, People are going to be like, oh, Kim, she apologized. Leave it alone. You can't just say shit like that and, and three days later, two days later, be like, oh, my bad. I wasn't thinking. You damn right you wasn't thinking. You, you wasn't thinking. Y'all shouldn't have said that. Um, you know, that's some serious allegations. Why well, say that in the beginning? You're not even from here. You're not even from this country. I could have went straight to Ice T, fucked you in the bathroom for two thousand dollars when you was fucking doing waitress, and I didn't even go there. You used to fuck in the bathroom, the Kit Kat Club, one of them old ass club bitch. Stop! You a video vixen. 